Steven Attilio Garo, my groom. Here we are. We finally made it. I can't believe it's our wedding day. The day we both say I do and become one as husband and wife. I've loved you for so long and I can't, scratch that, don't want to remember what it ever felt like before you. I believe wholeheartedly that I was made to love you and you were made to love me. You know me better than anyone in the world, including myself. You see me as I am and you love all of me, not just the parts that are easy to live with. You always love me with humor and compassion. No one has been more supportive of me or my goals as you have been. And I can't wait to see our future goals we will achieve together. You are my best friend, my rock, my love. We've been through so much together and I would not be where I am today, quite literally, in Thunder Bay, if it were not for your love and support. You have shown me that home isn't just four walls. And I've realized it doesn't matter where we are because you are my home. Today marks the beginning of the best part of our lives. I choose you today, tomorrow, and for the rest of my life. You can't get rid of me now, my loud nose blowing and all. See you soon at the altar, it's a date. Love always, Cassandra Almost Garo. All right, ready Cass? Dear Cassandra, to my wife on our wedding day, today is the day that I become your husband. In just a few hours, we will be standing at the altar together, promising our lives to one another for the rest of our lives. You will finally be my wife. I'm overwhelmed with joy, love, and excitement that today I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. I remember the first night we had plans to see each other. I was so excited. I never wanted that moment to end. After that first date with you, I never wanted to spend another day without you. You're more than I could have ever wished for. Cass, today is your day. The day that you've always dreamed of. I hope that it's everything you ever imagined it to be. I love you, my beautiful bride, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Love, your husband-to-be, Steve. I love you. Love you, too. Turn around. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous, is not inflated, is not rude, does not seek its interests, is not quick-tempered, does not brood over injury, does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. We partially know and prophesy, but the partial will pass away when the perfect comes. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. So Stephen and Cassandra, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> See? <laughs> See what's happened with you? <laughs> Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Will you accept children lovely from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? Yes. yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Cassandra, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stephen, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So Stephen and Cassandra, I declare you husband and wife. Go
Steve, it feels weird to welcome you to the family today because as far as we are all concerned, you have been a member of our family for a very long time. You've been loved and uh, appreciated. Since Cass was born, we've always dreamed of this day. We want you to know that you, specifically you, are the partner that we had hoped that she would find and fall in love with. Your obvious love for her, not to mention your willingness to be a member of this very crazy family that we have, makes you perfect for her. Thank you for looking after her the way that you do, in all the things that you do, and I know that there are many. Although she is far away from us, we know that she's in good hands, and that means the world to us. My son got married today. Woo! Okay, let's give her. And I inherited a daughter. Okay. As a trained husband of 36 years, I'm gonna let my wife do all the talking for me. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay. Today we celebrate your wedding, and may you continue to celebrate your marriage from this day forward. Marriage is a fun adventure full of surprises, twists, and turns. It is supporting each other through the joyful and the difficult times in life. As you know, we have been on this exciting journey for a long time. Being married to the person you love doesn't get old. Love one another. Pay attention to each other, be patient, communicate, and always put your spouse first. We wish you both all the happiness that life has to offer and our love is with you always. Remember, we're not far away, just next door. <laughs> Let's raise our glass to Stephen Cass. Cass. <laughs> Stephen Cass. Cass has always been the kind of person to fight for those she loves. My sister is also one of the most determined and incredibly supportive people that I know. When we were kids, we used to do competitive dance together, and one year that Cass and I were supposed to compete our first duet, she broke her foot not too long before we were supposed to compete at that competition. She told me, don't worry Tor, I won't let you down. And, well, when she wants something bad enough, she will do everything in her power to make it happen. We re-choreographed our dance routine. We still went on that stage, competed it, and we ended up winning an overall award out of the entire competition. Steve, you look handsome. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for making my best friend the happiest she's ever been. From the day she met you, I knew she would be a Mrs. Garrow, which will definitely take some time to get used to saying. You two have something so special, and I'm so excited for you two to start the next chapter of your lives together. So let's raise a glass, some, blast some more Rascal Flats to Cass and Steve. Yay. Cheers. 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 They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time I believe it to be true. All of my friends say, when you know, you know, every piece of oh. Holy shit. Hey. Oh, that's so pretty. Holy shit, guys. Oh, I love it. I love you. me 
free. 